Okay, so we're gonna do some fire business and and see just how good the fire status effect is. Maybe. I like fire. Oh, and this means we can maybe mess with some meteors. Meaty meteors. Ooh. This is good music. At some point, it's not going to be this year, obviously, it's a little late for that, but at some point Shell and I have kind of this like weird idea of trying to make some music albums. I have like no music skill whatsoever, but I think it'd be really cool to try and teach myself like hyper crash course learn a skill. Because um, I don't want to necessarily say like I have unlimited time, but if I can figure out how to like kind of turn that into a video or something, that's actually worth watching. I think it'd be a really interesting idea to... Like, how many of you guys have heard the concept of, like, a renaissance man? You know, the idea of a person that is, like, super multi-talented. Do I just instead become a shadow, shadow missile man? Because I could. It'd be a hell of a lot of doom, though. Yeah, suddenly shadow magic. Oh, it's tempting. Okay. Yeah, we, we could go hella doom instead of hella fire. It's not the worst idea. Blackfire apostle run. Yeah, maybe. I'll think about it. Ooh, yeah, let's go for agile. That movement speed is good. I'm not going to give up the fire wave for a while, but I might actually go pure dark magic. Well, expansive. Yeah, what I was thinking is if I could make this black hole huge with a very short cooldown, I could I could see that being like utterly stunningly busted in the best possible way. But yeah, I don't know. I just love to be oof, poison bomb meteor. The meteor is pretty fun to watch, too. We'll see what we get. Unfortunately, the meteor is like total random, so we'll see. Great damage, max HP. I'm gonna go for the armor. Uh, AoE? Yeah. Be nice to upgrade the void, but 10% AoE is pretty good. Because if I can have that black hole be just like monstrously huge, I'd be a happy camper. Okay, Shadow Spikes. What kind of music would you want to make for the album thing? Probably Outrun. I feel like uh, I could really study a lot of Outrun music and figure it out pretty quick. Um, maybe. I don't entirely know. Tax have a chance of applying frailty. We'll stack that. We'll give credit where the credit is due. The Fire Wave is shredding things. Definitely feels easier to control this character. Oh, multicast for multicast for the void. What does that even do? Does it just like stack two of them or does it create two randomly in different places? Okay, arcane disc, smite, firebolt. Guess I'll grab firebolt. I'm still hoping to get uh get some more void magic here. Oh, no, there's two of them. Okay, cool. I don't think I'm going to truck with crit chance this time around. What we kind of want to do is stack as much doom as possible. Because I kind of want to see if you can actually have, like, uh, the boss just insta-die. Because I just doom doomed him to heck. Unfortunately, all of my doom abilities currently... Uh, Let's see, attack speed. Yeah, attack speed. All of my all of my shadow mag magic attacks randomly, which is less than practical. At least the burn damage is enough. There we go. Expansive. Now let's go for magnetic. If it was a bigger, better expansive, I'd go for it, but still. Here we go. 
And my big fear is that we only have access to so many... Uh, we only have access to so many shadow spells. Which is actually... It's very possible. Because I haven't seen more. I, I think we got to stack the fire. I'll get rid of shadow spikes. And it did reset the level. Damn. I had to test. Okay. Damage increase for fire? Yeah. Yeah, no, we're gonna go we're gonna go fire boy. Okay, Thunderclap, Chaos Golem, nah, let's get some passives. All attacks have a chance of burning? Well, they already burned, so more burn? More burn. Okay, chance to slow? Sure. I'll snag that too. Okay, fire shield or bonus damage for fire slash. Oh, fire slash. Yeah. See, the levels do nothing. Just shows the number you've number of upgrades you've gotten. Are you sure? Okay. Uh, no, I gotta go for the cast frequency. Because I was under the impression that it affected your base statistics to some degree. Okay, more spontaneous combustion. I'm just gonna keep stacking that. Everything burns. Okay, Firewalk, Bloodlust. Okay, Multicast, Frailty, More Touch of Ice. Just go for more slow. I know there's a couple of combo status effect abilities. Okay, Area of Effect. So, anything with lasting. Oh, it's just void and bloodlust. Oh, that's... So tempting, though. Just 40% X... Nah, screw it. I'm just gonna get the AoE. We're just gonna hold on to the void. Just because it's such a big AoE. And having it be huge, applying tons of... Uh, tons of fire stacks. Would have been nice to get some more things. But I mean, I'm just going to keep big void around. Even if it's not exactly going to fit. I don't have to have like the perfect build. And I mean look at how absolutely nutty that is. Here let's add some doom to that. Okay. Let's see, more spontaneous combustion. Everything burns. It's not a whole lot of stacks of doom. But I think it's enough. Area modifier of the void skill. Okay, so I gotta check. Doom, same thing. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, and my goal is to get Alexi in the void, but unfortunately I have no way of controlling the void, which is not great. Let's just apply more doom. Because that makes the void even st stinkier. There it is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why am I stuck? Oh, I got, I got knocked over. I didn't know you could get knocked down in this game. Okay, one way or another, I don't care too much for that character. They're fine, but I think I'm going to enjoy Arcane Weaver the most. Let's just go back to 
happily just uh, spewing tons of missiles in a direction. I did not know you could get knocked down. Yeah, I was just on my ass for a while. That was a bad mix of not being quite fast enough and uh, spiders getting to me. I'll give credit where credit is due. This character is just a little bit better in terms of... Uh, well, you can just kind of go on auto and you never miss. And despite expectations, the missiles have an AoE to them, which gets really stinky considering how many of them there are. Okay, powerful strikes. Eh, it's just a snag med medic. Even if it, uh, even if it's not that useful, considering bosses give you a magnet effect, uh, the ten percent extra exp gain is good, and time to be an absolutely unoriginal hack. Can can you upgrade the missile's AOE size? Yup, it's nutty good. Okay, venomous, yeah. Not that the poison is particularly good, but it'll be great against bosses. Okay. It's expensive damage or 45%, uh, just 45 flat max HP is kind of tempting, but I'm going to go for the, the raw damage upgrade. I like how he has to stop to attack, which means he always just kind of is just like, eh. Okay, so two types, two types. Do we want Frostbolt, Poison Bolt? Frankly, I don't actually really want either, uh, though Frostbolt is actually pretty good. Okay, just raw damage again, raw damage. Uh, let's see, Fragility. Now I'll go for Agility. I I really like this song. I don't know why. It's fun to listen to. Okay, Might? Yeah. Honestly, if I could get Might... Oh, wait, no. I don't know if this character has access to Chaos spells. I was going to say, if we could get access to Might and Bloodlust, I'd be a happy camper. Okay. Crit damage or armor? That's... Uh, or no, that wasn't crit damage, that was just damage damage. I don't know. I don't intend to get hit, right? Flame wave, arcane disc, oof. Four types, three types. Okay, magic missiles it is. Damage increase of all of my missiles. Hell yeah. Only that applied retroactively. Avatar of fire, you say? Avatar of getting absolutely skunked. Okay, indomitable, unbreakable. Oh, actually unbreakable is pretty good. I guess I'll grab Lightning Bolt. I don't think I'm going to stick to it, but I'll grab it. There we go. Let's see. It'd be fun if you could get all the bolts and they converged into one spell. Ooh, evolutions for this would actually be kind of neat. I'll just level my movement speed a little bit. Force stall against the spiders and small random damage. And then some level of relentlessness. Not that a 5% boost is particularly good, but I don't know. I want to attack quick. Okay, none of these are good. AoE for Arcane. Fire. 
think this is better. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Cast frequency for this or burn. Okay, damage increase. Oh, but that's just poison bolt and magic missiles. But, I mean, considering my other upgrades are poison bolt and magic missiles, I don't really have a choice here. Okay, chaos bomb. So we can get chaos abilities. I'm gonna grab the might duration though. If I can get that so it has 100% uptime, that's always good. Damage of burst. Arcane missiles, arcane sparks, and magic missiles. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep leveling that. No reason not to. Okay, arcane sparks damage or frequency of it. Currently got a bunch of damage, so I should probably go for the frequency. Care not for any of these. Ooh, magnet would be nice, but let's go for the frequency. Okay, frequency of lightning bolt? Nah. Let's go go for some survivability. Okay, multi-cast level of poison bolt. Well, I guess I'm guess I'm locked into Poison Bolt, but that's fine. It's a, it's not a bad spell. Okay, or Arcane Explosion. I don't think so. I don't think I care. Ooh. Okay, so Area Modifier of Poison Bolt and Magic Missiles or Multicast of Poison Bolt. This helps too. We'll go for it. I love the Multicast chance for Poison Bolt though. Actually, that's area modifier. For those two, that's not that helpful. Okay, frailty, multicast for everything. Uh, let's do frailty. We have a lot of small attacks. Okay, multicast of physical. So poison bolt and light. Well, all right. This is kind of disgusting in its own way. Crit damage multi multiplier? Nah, no, let's just get a bit of movement speed. Okay, waves of death. Cast frequency of poison bolt. I've just specced all into poison bolt today. Multicast might now. Can you? Does it actually stack the effect? As frequency by an additional 15%. I want to just be gouting poison shot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Multicast chance of all of my arcane spells. Or just cast frequency in general. Where's that? There you are. Get absolutely sludged. Okay, AoE. I don't think AoE is that great on this. It's good. But I don't think it's that good on this group. Ah. Yeah, multicasting the buff just refreshes it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, well, I'll get the AoE power all the same. Get it bigger, and please die quickly. I wish to summon the... I was going to say the Elden Lord, and it's like, no, it's the Lord of the Void. Yeah, that's another game I should probably put some more time into at some point, but cripes, this year, man. It's just too many video games. Like, I was looking up the statistics, and 2021 was the first year that 10,000 games were published exclusively on Steam. Which is kind of bonkers. Uh, 
And I'm sure 2022 is as much, if not more. Uh, let's just go Venomous. I guess reducing damage by a flat two wouldn't be terrible, but I don't need it too much. I'm like, obviously, a lot of those games are shovelware. Um, but, like, it's... Ooh. Ooh, potency of the might buff. By 30%. 65%. Yeah, that's not bad. That's good. But, uh, say, going to say, uh, just game releases and stuff. I mean, even this week, like, I think it was averaging about two act decent games per day coming out, plus the maybe okay ones. Uh, because it was, what was it? I'd have to think about it. Oh, yeah, we don't actually have the arcane disc. I'll live. So that's area of effect, fateful strikes, or more attack speed on poison bolts. Those poison bolts cool down pretty quick. Could be quicker. I want to just be endless stream poison from face. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to look at uh, my notebook. I guess I could pull it out. Here. I'm not going to be the most accurate fellow while I'm doing this, but whatever. I'll just make it make do. Now, maybe this is not the most practical. Or, now that it's paused, I can just do it. And what was it? Eh, okay, I guess it was just Against the Storm, uh, Ghost Song, Harvest Stella this week. Plus, like, some mod releases and some major updates for various games. I guess it just felt like more. Uh, multicast chance by 4%? Nah, let's just go Doom. The more Doom, the better. Insta pops things as soon as they hit their Doom threshold, which seems reasonably good. Um, but yeah, it just feels like there's so many games coming out constantly that, like, I've been watching other people play Elden Ring, um, even though like I haven't been, uh, I don't have that much time to do it, I've still been like loading up people's playthroughs of Elden Ring, uh, just, just to kind of live vicariously because I know I'm never going to be able to play that game. And so like some part of me was really trying hard to avoid spoilers on it, now I'm just kind of like, I've just accepted that I am doomed. And will not get to play it. Uh, let's see. Desperation. Dazed. Burn. Arcane Sparks. Eh. I don't think I do... Oh. Lightning Bolt does Dazed. Like, the Dazed Burn is kind of... Let's do it. Because if I can actually get uh, any of the Days up... Upgrades that actually make it way better. Multicast of <laughs> just poison bolts. I swear, I'm just going to draw a thumbnail of me just puking poison <laughs> out of my face for this video. I'll have to remember to do that, but still. Uh, let's see. Uh, this game again. It's got more than one boss now, or is it? still the same one repeated. There's five bosses now, which is not bad. Could be better. Okay. Not the explosion, explosion, explosion round is the thumbnail. Wasn't that a previous? Wasn't that the, yeah, that was the last episode. That's a big maybe on that one. Uh, do I want Bloodlust? I think it's too late for Bloodlust. Yeah, I'll go for it. More magic missiles. Might as well. Yeah, variety is never a bad thing. It's true, but you have to kill five bosses to clear, uh, clear a run. So it means you're fighting the same five bosses every single run. Just remixed on when you encounter them. The one thing I will say to their credit is you kill... Well, if you're having a good run, you kill the boss in seconds, so it doesn't really matter that there's only so many bosses available, because ultimately... <laughs> ultimately, what boss? There we go. Whoop. Whoa. Well, that was a... That was a series of events. 
And the little bomber goblins are a bit of a an issue. Alexi the Plague Bearer, you say? Yo! Whoa. Okay, so I can and will die and it'll kind of suck Every once in a while something just insta gives me let's um snag some more movement speed that actually seems like it would be a Really good idea Let's see multicast of arcane missiles. Hell yeah It's this stinking goblins man. They spawn in and they run fast and since I'm all about that indirect damage, uh, I'm not hitting them as much. Or I'm not killing them before they reach me. I see them. I see them coming and I can only do some something about it. Because the all-missile run has, uh, some limitations here. I don't... I don't see another health crystal. Oh, no, we got, we got something from somebody. Okay, we're good. Any attacks you don't have on multicast at this point? I don't think so, no. Uh, let's go for the lethality. Not that crit's like really my main focus here. Nah, we're not gonna get this in 12 minutes. Bottom right was one. Was there? Maybe I just destroyed it from afar. Or maybe I already collected it while I was fighting Alexi. I'm not sure. There's usually a uh, map marker. Or a map marker, a hut element pointing at like Hey, over here. For when there is a, um... When there is a healing crystal available. Oh, it's the fancy spiders. Oh, but it moved fast enough that I don't think they're going to be able to web me. Nope, oh, never mind, they're webbing me. Oh, and I'm dying. Yeah, the golden spiders, when they show up, everything gets bad. Uh, more movement speed. And the spiders in general are just bad news, is the real answer. Looked out on that dodge. Okay. Oh, there's there's one up north. Okay. I'm just going to assume those resources are coming back to me. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm back up to 50 HP. Okay. And Tiagra. I'm just gonna go for the armor. Okay. Nope. I uh, got cut in half by TikTok. Damn it. Well, at least we get prestige level five with this character, which gets us something. And we're up to level eight. Like, we're getting there. Oh, and we've got the Sentinel. Extra dash count, faster, lower body mass. And they have bow. And I have enough crystals that I can get them. Cool. We'll try the Sentinel. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, recover HP every time I level up. Yeah, let's do that. 10 HP every time I level up should be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, go cast frequency.
Let's go for pickup range. Okay, so one more with the archer. Uh, yeah. Let's go back to the frozen wastelands. We'll see what happens. Okay. Their base spell is kind of ho-hum. The damage is decent. But it's not quite as immediately reliable as the uh, arcane missiles from the previous character. I think I'm going to stay away from poison this time around. The poison bolts were good, but it was really difficult for me to actually kill things that needed to die. Uh, in short order. Uh, let's go for this. And hopefully we'll actually get some useful bits. Ah yes, the great spell of arrows. Hey, I mean if Muscle Wizard can cast Fist, then Elf can cast Arrow. Don't judge him. Plus, I mean, considering how many arrows they're able to fire out, it's gotta be magical. There's no way you carry, you're carry you able to carry this much ammo with you. I once had a Dungeon Master that actively... Oof. I mean, we could grab Poison Bolts. I have no choice but to, kind of. Uh... But I, I once had a dungeon master that actively required, um, like required players to keep track of how much ammo they had, and it was awful. It was not good. Ooh, resilient. Not that it helps too much, but uh, just so I don't get insta-gibbed again. Because he cared about weight limits and how much ammo you're carrying on you. Like, I kind of understand it if your character is being, like, ridiculous. And, ooh, Shadow Bolt. Okay, two types, one type, two types and three types. So I could do Shadow Bolt if I want to be Missile Man again. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Only immediate problem is the bolts don't exactly do the best AoE. Okay. I'll do cast frequency for shoot. I'm not going to get rid of that one. Yeah, okay, there are bags of holding. We didn't have bags of holding at the time. If I remember right, he considered them to be uh, not great. I don't know. It was... He was a DM that we I only showed up for one session for and then more or less checked out because it was not worth my time. Okay, Suction Bomb, Shadow Spikes. Two types, two types, four types. We're getting, like, every missile in the uni universe. It's just missiles that we've had before. Magnetic, magnetic. My worst experiences with, uh, were with Shadowrun to... With too much to track. Yeah, I could see that. I, like, I'd understand it if you were doing, like, a really... Really limited resource survival kind of run. I could see that being really interesting. But even then, I feel like being a spellcaster would probably still remain... Well, no. Being certain types of spellcasters could be really good. Because, yeah, I would love to do a... Like a, a very limited... Oof. Multicast of all of those by 48%. Yeah. Fine. Um, like, if you had one where your characters were on the run and, like, barely surviving and there are no towns nearby and no way to replenish, like, being super vigilant about, like, do you have enough ammo? Do you have enough food? I could see that being really good. and kind of compelling from a player's perspective. But that would have to be it. 
Yeah, as Z Bradshaw said, make gooseberry consume it, uh, consume its sprig of mistletoe. Yeah. Uh, that's actually what I was thinking about when I'm kind of talking about this, is like, if you want to do like a really ridiculous survival campaign, cool. But if you're just like out to be heroes of the land, maybe not. Then it just kind of quickly becomes a slog. And it very clearly was like not, not a run where you needed to be particularly um, pushy about resources. Like we were in and out of towns constantly and doing all sorts of stuff like that. That didn't make a whole lot of sense at the time. But I think the DM just wanted to feel superior. I've had a lot of really bad Dungeon Master experiences, experiences, which always surprises me a little bit. Because why the hell didn't I just at some point say, oh, but what if I became... What if I just was the Dungeon Master now? Okay. <laughs> Here we go again! Multicast a Poison Bolt. The game really wants me to use Poison Bolt, by the way. Uh, let's see. Chance of Dooming. Not that it really changes too much here. At least I attack freaking fast. Void Chain Lightning. Then there is Bloodlust. But no. I don't actually know if that burn is good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go for magnetic power. The little bit of damage might be good on that other one, but whatever. Okay, every time you apply a stack of slow, frailty as well. That See, that seems a little bit more useful. And I'm maybe gonna want to look into it as well. But yeah, like, I know how to... Ooh, rain of arrows. The problem is, I was really hoping that these, this would specifically show up much earlier, because now I'm kind of stuck in my build. I don't have to be, but I feel kind of stuck in my build at least. We'll go for expansive though, I don't... Wait, no, no, no. A number of my projectiles do pierce, and have, I think, infinite piercing, so bigger AoE is not a bad idea. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I, I knew how to DM, and I, I totally could have, should have, and would have had I been thinking, but I think in college I was kind of wrapped up in my own bullshit and it was hard for me to identify like, hey, if I did like X or Y, X, Y, or Z, I'd be a happier person. Does this even have extra damage? Oh, it, I see. The damage mo modifier, the damage modifier inf affects the poison. Also, this just boosts everything by... Oh, that's multicast chance. Well, I mean, heck yeah, why not? Okay, crit damage by 24%? Sure. I think my problem was on that last run, we had a really weak poison bolt that we were just firing over and over, but even then... Oh yeah, that's 260 damage over 15 seconds. Poison bolt is not the winning thing. What do you think it would be? Oh, okay. Because, yeah, that does 299 damage directly. Whereas this is 263 damage over 15 seconds. I think the main point is it's five poisonous bolts. So that's actually five times that. Okay, it's, it's better. I think I'm still gonna go for the shadow spikes. Multiple casts on that seems kind of useful. We'll see. Okay. This is multicast on frontal. So shoot poison bolt and frost bolt. Yeah, I'll snag it. I think this is fine. Ah, uh, yeah. My problem now is I'm just busy. Ooh, hundred percent chance to. Crit on enemies with full health. That's a nice damage boost no matter what you do. And I've been specking into flat damage anyway. Okay. Damage is shadow spikes. Sure, why not? What else am I going to do anyway? Okay. Boyo Vice. 
is dead. Holy shit. Whatever I've got on this one is, uh, got kind of goofy. I might actually want the damage modify. Ah, no, 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 no. We'll go for the A. Oh my. Okay, those got bigger. He melted. I. Is there a DPS meter that I can pull up? No. Damn. Maybe we'll get it at the very end. Yeah, frag shot would have been lovely, actually. But it's kind of too late now, because too many of these have accrued really good bonuses. So to replace it would just suck. Okay. Eliminate monsters to summon a lord. Yeah, I kind of kind of got that game. Just summon more monsters. Okay. Attack speed of curse or... No, we actually want the slow. Reason being, uh, slow stacks cause fragility. And fragility increases the amount of damage I do to them. So if I can just hyper stack fragility, bosses will melt real quick. Okay. Crit damage chance. Yeah. I don't know what my current crit chance is. 42%. Pretty sick. I'll have to check my uh, my curse options to see if there's any where I can just hyper stack more enemies. Just absolutely bury me in dudes. I'll figure it out. Any of you experienced a team party kill as a player of GM? Yeah. I tell this story often. Um, but... I had another really shitty GM in college who very much believed in the Gary Gy Gygax. You are like the DM is an antagonist is like it's the players versus the DM, not collaborative storytelling. There was no plot. It was bullshit. It was all just there uh, to force the players to munch, get munchkin as hell. Otherwise, they never win. Um... Let's see. And for her to throw increasingly bullshit uh, encounters at the players uh, to feel like she's somehow superior, which was like the interesting thing is Dungeons and Dragons is an, a very balanced experience from one perspective. Uh, when you're the when you're the player, like there's only so much you can do. You can munchkin yourselves to all hell and back again. But you're stuck, still stuck within the rules. When you're the dungeon master, you can cheat endlessly and nobody can call you out on it. The only thing uh, people can do is leave. And so I remember I was playing a... I think I was like a halfling rogue or an elf rogue or something like that. I think I was a halfling. My entire goal was to be small, sneaky, and incredibly stabby. Uh, critical strikes have a chance to wound. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and I was really good at it. Like my hide because I think we had just enough money that I could get the you know the classic cloak of elven kind uh or boots of elven kind cloak of I don't know either way if I wanted to sneak I was in virtually in invisible uh okay so where's Alexi there you are nope there he goes perfect um but the one thing is none of these players had ever really played D&D &D before, uh, apart from me. So I, I became Munchkin as hell because I figured, like, we're kind of going to need that. Um, and also just because I like making Munchkin characters and then using them. So, like, this campaign was almost kind of built for me. But it was not built for everybody else because we were, like, drinking vodka milkshakes and some other stuff leading up to this entire thing. Like, this was... This was I was the most sober person there, and I was pretty tipsy. And so, uh, the DM kind of used this opportunity to just repeatedly kill us. Um, and then you'd have to wait a long, long time before you got to get back in. My character never died because the moment anything started going south, he just disappear. Um, and when I say the moment things go south, I mean, like, the moment a player died, I'd be like, I'm gonna hide and run away. And then everybody else would also do the same, or just run away, because what else are you going to do in that moment? 
Uh, cast frequency of that or multicast for everything. I think multicast for everything in that case is better. Vodka milkshakes. Why have I never heard of this amazing con uh, concoction? I. It was a very much like kind of jank college thing. It was actually pretty good. We get uh, chocolate milkshakes and then just uh, have like a little bit of it and then throw in a bunch of vodka and it was good. It was real good. Shell's groaning because judgment, but still. Shell likes Bailey's better and I would generally agree. I think I think vodka is just kind of ho-hum. Good if you want to get drunk, not great for its flavor on its own. Um, anyway, but so we we're all kind of drunk and like the party was dying over the course of it, but there was like eight of us because we're all just a bunch of drunk dudes hanging out in a room, uh, having a goof, uh, or at least we would have been, you know, if the, <laughs> there goes the boss. Um, we would have been if the DM wasn't, you know, kind of a jerk about all, everything. Uh, let's see. A we modifier. Not that it really matters too much, but I want big arrow. Uh, flavor and vodka in one sentence. I mean, it has a flavor, but anyway. So uh, I think we were we'd like gone into a crypt or something, and came kind of came out fine, and it was like shocking that we hadn't died yet. Uh, and then we went into town, and. We were going to like a church or a temple, or no, 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 we weren't going into town, we hadn't reached town yet. There was like a random church in, like on the road, and we decided to go in for whatever reason. And like, a assassins attacked us, killed the party cleric in the first round with like 30 damage or something obscene like that, like it was not okay. And then I rolled like one of the most powerful crits I'd ever managed to pull, because I was using like, um... I don't, I don't remember what weapon I was using, but I effectively did 42 damage to whatever I was attacking. And it was like, it was one hell of a shot. And I think we were fighting, it was like goblins or kobold assassins or something like that. Like it wasn't, it wasn't something that you'd expect to be durable to survive 40 damage. And we're only like level two or three, like I rolled absurdly well for what I did in the moment. And it didn't die. And I was like, how how injured does it look? And it's like, eh, somewhat injured. I'm like, if it's only somewhat injured and I did 40 damage to it, like, there's... The only way that works is either you're fudging the numbers or, um... Uh, let's see. Cast frequency or Poison Bolt. I don't really care about boosting Poison Bolt that much. Uh, and honestly, 5% global is better than 30% for one. Um... But more or less, you know, right then and there, I accused the DM of either fudging numbers to kill us, or uh, or throwing things at us that we should not be fighting. Uh, and it wasn't like it was some sort of like Deus Ex Machina, where like you get absolutely crushed by whatever enemy it is, but the uh, then some NPC comes to save you because no, you know, half the party is literally dead, and just sitting there kind of waiting for everybody else to die or I don't know um but I had an argument with the DM like right then and there being like this is not okay and like nobody else is calling you on it because we're all pretty sloshed but like this is bad DMing what are you doing what the hell Alexi holy shit or Alice is ah that's why I was like that was a massive AoE and he's dead <laughs> uh but yeah I uh more or less over the course of the rest of the battle, I just hid and walked, like, just walked out of there. And everybody else in the party died. And then we all just kind of got up and left while the DM was trying to convince us to roll new characters. And it's like, what is the point of this? And she was so smug about it, too. Like, it was the weird part. Is that, like, you could tell nobody was enjoying the experience except for her. Suffice to say, we are not friends anymore. I should probably be investing in this damage multiplier. Uh, let's see. Critical damage chance. Ooh, that's actually really good. I'll just snag that. Yeah, that is bad GMing. Yup. Absolutely horrid. Still can't kit this character, which amuses me to no end, but whatever. I'm curious what they have. Chaos Electric, Shadow Swing, Thrust Slam, Bomb. Oh, I'm not missing on it too much. Well, that was a pretty good Magic Missile run. I think I like the Sentinel best? 
Like, this character is freaking fun, but I should probably go back to the Pyromancer and the Hound Master to see if I can get a better run later. But what I really want is the Summoner, dude. Unfortunately, I have to do quite a lot to actually unlock that. Uh, let's see. But at least we're almost done with the base base level of everything, then we can go up to a higher cycle. If we want to? What is this? Enemies spawn... Oh, elite enemies are 15% more. Explosive goblins appear earlier in the match. Rude. Revenge of the Void. Every time you kill an enemy, there's a 10% chance of a meteor falling near your position. Oh, that... Rude? All of these are rude. I just want more enemies. So complete this map with four or more curse intensity to unlock this level. Oof. Oof. 